Inventory The Adjust Inventory window Initial Inventory Setup If we are using the Inventory feature of Account Edge, we will occasionally need to adjust inventory. Let's take a look at that window. Adjust Inventory Transactions usually have an inventory transaction number and can be viewed in the Inventory Journal of the Transaction Journal. One of the first ways to use the Adjust Inventory window is to set the initial inventory values and quantities. Suppose we had inventory before we created a new company file in Account Edge. We have a quantity on hand of 200 and we know its value to be $28,000. There are two steps to setting this information into Account Edge. First we'll need to set the inventory information, then we'll need to update the inventory account with the value. Once we have the necessary account information set for the item, we can open the Adjust Inventory window and add our quantity and value. We would indicate a location if we're using that feature. Since this is an inventoried item, we have an inventory account associated with the iInventory characteristic. Account Edge will use both this account and the account we indicate on the Adjust Inventory window when we record the Adjust Inventory transaction. When we're recording an Adjust Inventory transaction to set initial inventory, the account we use in the Account field of the Adjust Inventory window should be the account associated with the iInventory characteristic. This will cause Account Edge to record both a debit and a credit to the same account. When we completed the Adjust Inventory transaction, we have a quantity on hand of 200 and a current value of $28,000. That completes the first step in setting up initial inventory. The second step is to set the opening balance of the inventory account to the current value of inventory. To do this, we open the profile of the account and we enter in the opening balance. Now our balance matches our inventory balance and we're ready to begin selling our items.